Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. If you haven't yet, please click like to this video. I would really appreciate it. It just shows me that people are actually watching and it does help me out as well. So in the video today, I want to talk to you guys about if you are a dental hygienist in Ontario and you have been audited, do you want to take the quality assurance exam? or do you wanna do the portfolio route, okay? Um, with both of those, you still have to fill out your practice profile. If you need help, I will leave um, links down below for everything. So I do have a course for the quality assurance exam prep. I do have a course for um, how to write, complete, do your portfolio. And I have another course separate for if you just need help with your practice profile. So I do all of that because um, I've been through all of that. I've been audited twice um, in my career. Apparently dental hygienists get chosen at random, but it's common to be audited every five to six years. And that's exactly what happened to me. I've also been through the on-site audit as well when I started my mobile dental hygiene practice. So if anybody has experience, I do, and I can help you guys. But talking about the quality assurance exam, versus portfolio. So people ask me all the time what I suggest they do. It's truly up to you. When I was audited, I chose to do the portfolio just because I take courses often and I'm very organized. So throughout the year, I'm writing notes on the courses that I take. I save all of the links. I go into my smile portal and kind of like write all of that down. I formulate kind of um, goals that I want to do for the year. So I do all of that anyway. So I didn't mind submitting my portfolio. But I also have a thing where you have to pay to take the quality assurance exam. I don't like paying for something if I can choose another way and not have to pay for it. I know it sounds silly, but it's true. Um, but it's really up to you. If the idea of keeping track of courses you take, writing things down, formulating um, goals, talking about what you had learned, changes you made to your practice, because you have to do all of that if you submit your portfolio. It's a very lengthy um, report that you have to do for the CDHO on every course that you decide to use for a goal. If that is overwhelming to you and you're thinking, I don't keep track of my courses, nor do I want to take more courses than I have to, then the quality assurance exam might be better for you. You basically study for the exam. I do have a prep course. Like I said, I can help you study for that exam. You take the exam and hopefully pass. That's it. You don't have to submit a portfolio, none of that. With both options though, you do have to submit your practice profile. It's not as hard as you might think. I actually have a video on YouTube as well. If you do a search, um, type in practice profile and you will find it where I go through it with you. If you need more help, I can help you. Just send me a message and I'm more than happy to help you. So if taking the exam though, on the other side of things really is scary for you, overwhelming, you don't wanna take the exam, you don't have to wanna to worry about not passing the exam, then you might wanna do the portfolio, but it's a lot more work in my opinion. I did the portfolio, like I said, just because I kind of had the work done for me, all of that. So what do you guys think? Think about it. If you have more questions, comment below. I'll leave the links down below for all of the courses that I do offer. If you need help with either one, I'm here to support you. I know it's a stressful time. I'm here to support you. This is what I do. This is my passion. So please reach out to me. Okay, good luck. Please click like if you guys haven't yet, make sure to click subscribe so you get all the videos that are coming up. There are some exciting ones coming and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon.